guys, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute. I have some of the most adorable ideas. They're the kind that make you just want to squeal um, for the 4th of July. And I'm so excited to share them with you. I just can't wait to get started, so let's get going. Idea number one is going to be Kool-Aid hair dye. We're going to do the tips of her hair. How long have you been begging me to do this? A long time. A long time. She really wants to do blue. So what kind of Kool-Aid did we do? Ice blue raspberry lemonade. Ice blue raspberry. We're using one and a half cups of water, three packets of ice blue. We are putting that in our water, stirring it up, and we're gonna go boil it and come back and show you step number two of this process. After you boil your water, you wanna pour it in something that you can dip your hair down into and let it sit for two to five minutes just to cool a little bit before you dip your hair. We have parted her hair and put it into two ponytails and then put these rubber bands down on the ponytail, why? So you can know where how long you want your tip to be, or in it. So like a, you know, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, we put these rubber bands on there so that we know on both sides how far down we want to put that into the Kool Aid, and it'll be even on both sides. Right. Right. For this next uh, tip, I brought along Shelby from Albertine. Shelby from Albertine is my cutest little niece, and she's sporting some of the Kool-Aid hair dye as well, and this cute flower crown, and we have one more that we're gonna show you that are 4th of July inspired. You're just going to need about a yard of this string. We got some of this leather just at our craft store. I found these flowers at Michael's that I thought were just too adorable and so we're just going to pick them off. All you do is pop them right off the stem just like this and then on the back you're going to take this part off. It's really not that hard. And then take your scissors and snip off that part as well on all three of your flowers. Okay, you're just gonna take your string and fold it in half, and you're gonna start with your middle flower, and we decided we wanted our white one. Add a little dab of glue to your flower, and plop that maybe on. Careful not to burn yourself. <laughs> That was so easy. For this flower crown, we did the exact same process. We just used different flowers. And I used a daisy, a rose, and... I don't even know what that is. It's kind of like a mom. I'm not sure what this one is, but it was a cute little blue and they were just cheapo, cheapo flowers. If you want to check out my channel, we'll have a link in the description box. And if you really love these flower crowns, make sure that you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. We finished this blue Kool-Aid hair. Turned out a little bit more teal than I think that we wanted, but how do you like it? I like it a lot. It was wet, you know, more teal when it was wet, and when we both tried it, it was more blue, so I liked it a lot. So she loved it. And then if you'll spin around for us, you can see that we added one of the bandana hair bows that you just saw. 
We just did the same exact no sew fabric hair bow, which I'll put a link in the description block box to that video that we've done previously. But we just used bandana material in red and white and blue for cute little bows. So hopefully you have been inspired in this video and are gonna be ready for the 4th of July this year or World Cup. Um, hey. Go USA! And we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Shell. Thanks for having me, Jenny.